Okay, today we are going to talk about how to search the education database, ERIC. Uh, ERIC is great if you're doing education research because it only does education research. That's the only type of research you're going to find in here. So while in a typical library database or professional database, you have to tell the database education or school or university or something like that in your search bar, this everything by default is education. So if that's the kind of research you're doing, this would definitely be my go-to for Eric. Now, Eric is easy to get to. It's actually a free database, so anyone can get into it. Here it is, eric.ed.gov. You could also just Google Eric. Maybe you might want to type in Eric database and it'll come right up. On the library website, if you go library databases A to Z, go to E. We have it linked here. So even though it's a free database, it's so useful we link it on uh, the library webpage. Okay. Let's go into Eric. So it's it's great. Now, if you just want to do the bare minimum of searching, I'll we'll cover that first just to do some general searching. And then we'll talk about how to do some more advanced searching. So I would always put this on. Always click this on. This uh, full text, this means you want to make sure they have the actual article. If you just search it just like this, a lot of the articles they don't have full text access to. And you don't really want to waste your time with those in most cases, unless you're prepared to order it in from interlibrary loan or go copy it somewhere. Um, I also often will do this peer reviewed only. This means it's going to come from a higher level research journal, like an academic journal of education. Um, most of what is in Eric is already peer reviewed, but I, if it now th if this is what you're looking for, most of the research students ask me for for education or graduate students, and they're generally looking for peer reviewed. So I would probably put that on too, but you could leave it off too. But it's really easy, but you definitely have to do this first. If you don't do this first, you're going to end up getting all sorts of articles you don't have access to. Okay, I'll just type in here hiring. Let's say you're doing some kind of a project on school hiring. Okay. And there's all sorts of things here, hiring. Now you could limit it by year right over here since 2019. That seems like a pretty good thing. And all you have uh, 142 articles that came up, it tells you right there. And they're all full articles. You, you can see they're all they're all full, full articles. If we open this one here, it gives you the abstract, tells you the authors, where it was published. And then right here is the full text of the article. And then you could you could download right download that right here. You could print it off. So there's there's the bare minimum of how to use Eric. It's a really great database. I'm going to show you some more advanced searching techniques now because Eric is really good for advanced searching. It just works a little bit different than you might be used to. So instead of seeing like an advanced search database like this, where it will come up with the different search boxes like this, then you tell it, I'll put it in the title. This doesn't work like that. You have to kind of know their little language. So let's say you're looking now again, I put the full text on the peer reviewed. Let's say you're looking for articles. Okay, the last thing we looked up was hiring. Let's say you just want articles with hiring in the title. So what you would do, you would type this in title, colon, and then your term. So I want to make sure now I'm only getting articles with uh, with that word in the title. And notice there's there's quite a few, there's less articles because now hiring has to be in the title. And if you only need a few articles, a lot of times I the, the big game is when you have a subject like this, you probably want to narrow it down. So going by title is, is the easiest way. Then you could do that right there just within the last five years. So that's, that's one way to search. Um, you could also do, you can now within that title, you can use um, quotation marks. Let's say you want an exact phrase. There's, I did this search before, so it's suggesting that. How about just in the title, I want teacher turnover. And if you don't put these, these quotation marks around it, it's going to search in the title for teacher and turnover, which probably would be fine. Let's say I'm looking for exactly the phrase teacher turnover, and it has to be in the titles of the articles. Do a search and looks like we have some really good articles there. The hidden costs of teacher turnover, bingo, you want that go in there, or just go directly to the PDF full text. Okay. Now, uh, there's also, there's all sorts of variations on that you could do. You could also 
you can search the abstract. So let's say you don't want to be as specific as searching just the title. The abstract is this, the summaries of the articles. So let's say there was a great article with this in it, but it just didn't have it in the title. They called it something else. Let's search the abstracts of the article. So abstract colon, okay. And so you notice the phrase teacher turnover is not in this one. But if we looked at the abstract, it, it, would, it would bring up teacher turnover into that phrase. Okay. Now, let's say there's something you don't want to see in this search that you keep seeing. Let's say, for example, uh, there's probably only one article there, but a continual problem in Turkey. Let's say you want to eliminate the word Turkey from your search. You could just, this would be like in a regular library database, you would use the word not <clears throat> or the limit or not. But in a lot of online databases, the same thing can be accomplished with the minus sign or the dash. Not Turkey. And that ran the search. And now we're not seeing that article from Turkey. So you could you could get more practical with this let's say not budget teacher turnover not budget that might be more something that you would want to take away now we see turkeys back there because i took <laughs> i took away uh minus budget let's do minus budget also minus turkey okay so it took away that turkey article. So you can do as many minuses as you want. I don't want this, and I don't want this, and I, you can just you can just keep going with that. Okay, um, let's go back to one of our earlier searches. Um, let me run just a number of searches. Let's just get into practice of this. Title, colon, how about uh, teacher retention? Okay, so now in the titles of all the articles, I'm going to get teacher retention. Okay, that could be really, really useful. I can limit it with the years here. Now, let's say, because this is great from 2019 to current and from 2022 and 2014, but let's say I want to get more specific than this. Let's say, well, I don't, it, I don't want as current as 2022, but 2019 is a little bit too long. How about I just want the last three years of research? So I don't see that limiter here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in pub year min, colon. So pub year min means I want, this is, <laughs> this is the earliest year of publication that I want to see on these articles. Okay, we have 74 articles now. If I do pub year min, and let's say from 2020, because I want one more year current than 2019, but I don't want to go all the way up to 2022 because there's only five articles you can see there. So if I put in my title search, <clears throat> title, the phrase teacher retention, pub year min 2020. So just show me the articles published since 2020. It's a little confusing. Okay. And now we only have 31 articles, but you can see that's better than if we would have limited to 2022, we would have just had five. So here's you notice they're all 2020 or 2020, 2020 or later in the publication year. So it's a, it's kind of, it's a little tricky to remember that pub year min. Okay, let's, let's start from scratch again. Let's get a little practice here. Title, and I like searching for title because you're going to find a lot of articles in here. I'll type in something else. Let's do um, burnout. In the title, burnout, pub year min uh, 2020. I'll do the same thing again. Okay, now we've got all articles with burnout in the title, and you see 2021, 2022, 2022, 2021, 22. Okay, so that's that is how you get into a little more advanced searching in. Um, in Eric. Now, if you forget these, one thing you could do right here, advanced searching tips, this is really useful. They have all of these tips laid out right here. And I tried to uh, make it a little easier to understand, but uh, it has all of this right here as well. So 
There you go. That's a crash course in how to use Eric for education research. I hope that helped you out there. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.